Hello, in this video we'll be looking at the multiplications table check for year 4 pupils. I'm Philip Burton of the DAISY service daisy.education. As of the 1st of April 2019, schools and pupils can try it out prior to the pilot which will be held between Monday the 10th and Friday the 28th of June. The test will consist of 25 questions together with 3 practice questions at the beginning. Pupils will have 6 seconds to answer each question, with 3 seconds between each question. The Multiplication Tables Check or MTC Administration can be accessed from the top menu bar of NCA Tools, usually reserved for head teachers and other super users. Here you can see all of the different options. The Pupil Register will be pre-populated with your Year 4 pupils as of the last census. Additional pupils can be added into the pupil register if needed. If you wish, you can organise pupils into groups. This means that you'll be able to generate pins for the entire group, as well as organising restarts and marking pupils in a group as not taking the test. Now, all pupils should take the test unless the head teacher decides it would not be appropriate, and the head teacher's decision is final. Pupils should not take the test if they are absent for the entirety of the test period between the 10th and the 28th of June. They are unable to access the test, even with access arrangements. They are unable to answer any of the questions or are working below the expected standard for Year 2 in multiplication tables. They have just arrived in the school from the 10th of June onwards with EAL and there is not sufficient time to establish their standard. If any pupils are not going to be taking the test, they can be marked as such together with the reason. Access arrangements may be appropriate for pupils with EHCP, with SEN support, whose learning difficulty or disability significantly affects their ability to access the test, who have behavioural, emotional or social difficulties, or who are EAL and have limited fluency in English. Access arrangements include an audible time alert for pupils with a visual impairment. A beep will sound two seconds before the end of the question and also another beep at the end of the question. Colour contrast. Either yellow on black, black or blue, black on peach or blue on cream is possible. Font size. Increased or decreased font size for the text or the number pad. Input assistance. This can be used if pupils are unable to enter their answers or if they find it slow, difficult or causes physical discomfort. Adding a next button. If a 3 second pause between questions is not sufficient or may disadvantage the pupils, a next button may be added. There is however a 30 minute overall time limit to complete the test. A question reader. This will read all text aloud. This should only be used with Chrome and Safari web browsers and not Internet Explorer or Edge. And you can remove the on-screen number pad. This may be useful if pupils do not intend to use it or would be distracted by it. A keyboard will then be required to enter the response. The Try It Out area opened on Monday the 1st of April. It consists of 25 questions after three practice questions have been shown. Pupils will need a PIN, which will expire at 4pm, and their school password. To try it out, or eventually to take the full test, go to https colon slash slash multiplication hyphen tables hyphen check hyphen trial dot service dot gov dot uk. There are three practice questions followed by 25 times tables questions. Pupils will have six seconds per question with a three second pause between each question. Once a pupil has completed the test, they will see the screen. Don't close the window at this time until you see another window saying thank you. And then you can optionally leave feedback. If a pupil was interrupted during the test, it can be restarted a maximum of twice. Restarts are not allowed simply to allow the pupil to have another go, but for prolonged loss of internet connection and loss of data, an IT issue with the device used for the test, classroom disruption, such as a fire alarm, evacuation, illness, or high-level behavioural disruption, and a pupil didn't complete the test, such as accidentally closing the test window. 
Head teachers should submit their form after all pupils have completed their test and no later than 4 p.m. on Friday the 20th of June. This form, once completed, cannot be amended, so any mistakes should be reported to the helpline 0300 303 3013. Provisional results, together with the national average, will be available for Monday the 1st of July. For the pilot year, results will not be published in ESP or elsewhere. Now just to let you know, this video contains public sector information licensed under the Open Government Licence version 3.0. For more information about the MTC, please see the MTC Administration Guidance on gov.uk. Well thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. For more articles, why not subscribe to this YouTube channel or go to daisy.education forward slash blog where you can read additional articles. Daisy.education is also the home of the Daisy Quick View where you can see your school's Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 4 results and your absence figures. You can also download the analysis as a PDF or PowerPoint presentation. We also provide an enhanced version for our premium mailing list members. For more details, please contact us. We can also create a fuller report about your school. Our ASAP report aims to make your ASP easy. This includes not just Key Stage 2, but also Key Stage 1, Phonics and Early Years. If we can help you further, then please contact us. Our contact details are on the screen. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe.